Is there a movie tie-in video game that is actually better than the movie? In this series, I'm determined to find out. Movie video game tie-ins, they used to be a norm when I was growing up. You would be sitting there watching the movie and think, I would like to play that part in the game. But I never really played many of them because I soon realized that most of these games suck ass. Early on, I just steered away from them. I remember playing the Aladdins and the Lion Kings growing up, and I even replayed them with the Disney classic for the PS4 when it first released. Side note, how are you gonna do me dirty like that, Disney? Adding Jungle Book two years later, and now I'm stuck with the stupid version that doesn't have Jungle Book, and I wanna be the little kid running around in his underwear. What the fuck? Stupid greedy. <laughs> anyway. Those were great, very nostalgic and fun. I, I've played the Toy Story for the Genesis as a child. Can't really give you my thoughts on it now because I was because I was a child. And I played a handful of couch co-op ones like Narnia and the Fantastic Four. But I just remember thinking, why are we bothering with these? They can't possibly be better than the movie. There's no way. Imagine making a game and the time it takes to make a movie. We now know that video games take longer to make. Now you have to make a game along with the movie while following the story beats that are probably aren't completely set in stone. If they change something during the production of the film, there is no way they can change it for the game. Now, I might be wrong with this. I don't know. It just seems like an impossible task. And some of these games would release the same time they would in theaters. I'm not even saying DVD, giving them some extra time. I'm saying in the theaters. There would be a ticket for the movie inside the box of the game. That's just mad. Now, I'm not saying all movie tying games are garbaggio. Look at one of the best N64 games of all time, GoldenEye 007. Difference here is the game released two years after the film did, proving my point of the time crunch. More time equals better games, no matter who's making them. The Godfather game that released in 2006, that had a 34 year gap between the movie and the film and it's great. On the other side of the coin, we have what's regarded as one of the worst games of all time in E.T. the Extraterrestrial for the Atari 2600. That was released in 1982, which was one of the first movie tying games ever. And it almost single handedly crashed the video game industry in the early 80s. Why? Because it was made in five weeks. And because it was made in five weeks, it has a glitch that basically makes the game impossible to complete. And this is in the Atari day, so there's no day one patches you can just download to fix it. As of today, tie-in games have been developed more for mobile rather than your latest consoles because they're easier and cheaper to make, which makes sense. Even if they are just reskins of popular mobile games, they have not gone completely extinct. But I feel like they might anytime soon. I'm sure back in the day games were looked at similar to action figures with no intent of actually making a good game or what we call art now, but to make money. I mean, there's still companies that just want to make money, I guess they all do. So even knowing all this to be true, there's still a little FOMO voice in the back of my head. How could you know they took acid without trying them? And this is all true. They can't all be bad. Can they? Come on, let's keep a little optimism. Well, I hope not, because I plan to play every movie game tie-in I come across. Everything from E.T. to The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Well, hopefully. I hold hope there's a hidden gem out there somewhere, but there's only one way to find out. Obviously, some games will have tougher tasks compared to others depending on the movie, but since the material is the same, I think it shouldn't be much of a problem. On the other hand, if the movie isn't that great, that's a huge advantage for the game, but we'll see. I'm super excited to see which movie video games are in fact better than the movie. So if you would like to join me on this journey, make sure you're subscribed to the channel to be up to date with the series along with my other gaming videos. Please leave a comment letting me know what games I have to play for this series. I have the very first entry for you right here. It's Lemony Snicket's series of a fortune of events. Ready to go for you to see if the video game is better than the movie. Thanks for watching and always and forever, you do you.